Good day students, welcome to math.surf.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to graph angles with a protractor and also how to classify our graphed angles. All right, so the instructions for the examples are as follows. We are to graph each angle with a protractor and then classify the angle as acute, right, obtuse, or straight. For this tutorial, you're going to be uh, needing a protractor uh, and, a, and a ruler for straight edge and, and a pencil, okay? I'm going to be making use of uh, my virtual tools here, which can be replicated using your actual physical construction tools. For problem number one, let's say we were asked to graph 40 degrees, okay? So um, when you're graphing an angle that's provided to you, the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, draw a line segment, okay? So you pick a point, let me just mark the point first. And then from this point, I'm gonna draw a line segment. Or you can you can sketch a ray, let's go ahead, let's just make a ray, okay? So it's a ray from this point, right there. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to construct 40 degrees starting from this initial ray, okay? The terminal ray is going to be have a 40 degree um, inclination from this initial ray. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, protractor and place the intersection of the 90 degrees and the 180 degrees, that point right there, you place it on top of the point that's the initial point, um, the starting point of your, um, of your ray, okay? Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to mark a point on our protractor that's equivalent to 40 degrees, all right? So this is, now what you want to note is that we're starting from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. We're not, these numbers right here, 180 are what you get when you're going in the um, clockwise rotational order, okay? So this is 0 degrees right here, which is equivalent to this measurement we have here. So, uh, 45 degrees is going to be, this is 40 right here. So you just count um, five places, one, two, three, four, five. So you see this mark right here in the center between 40 and 50, guess what? That is 45 degrees, okay? So you just go ahead and mark it. It's a little bit difficult to mark with this tool here. So um, like that. <laughs> That's my 45 degree angle. <clears throat> so I just marked the 45 degree mark right there. Okay, so what we're going to do next, uh, we're done with our protractor. We're just gonna place our ruler on these two points right here and draw the terminal ray that basically is an inclination of 40 degrees from the original ray, okay? So this angular measure right here is 40 degrees. Now let's go ahead and classify this angle. This angle is between zero and 90 degrees, which makes it an acute angle, okay? So since um, the angle 40 degrees is between zero degrees and 90 degrees, it is a, or an acute angle, okay? Any angle that's between zero and 90 degrees is known as an acute angle. All right, let's take a look at uh, problem number two. What if you were asked to graph 90 degrees using your protractor. It is possible to draw, to graph 90 degrees using um, your compass and straight edge, but what if you're asked to do it using just your protractor and your straight edge? So accomplish that, we'll follow the same procedures as we did in problem number one. You graph the um, point, the starting point of your um, ray, and then you are going to make uh, draw a ray, okay? Just draw a horizontal ray. Now, what we're going to do is we're now going to use our um, our protractor to graph to mark a ninety degree 
rotation or inclination from the initial ray we just created. Remember to position your point of intersection on the protractor between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, this point right here, place it on the, the initial point or the end point of your ray, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and mark the 90 degree mark here, and then we'll draw another ray, and the angle of inclination will be um, 90 degrees. Okay, so there goes your point mark right on 90 degrees. So we're done with the protractor for now. And uh, what we're going to do next is proceed to draw the terminal ray of our angle from this point right here through that other point that you um, marked with your protractor. And this angle we just graphed, this angle right here, is 90 degrees. Okay? Now, how would you classify it? Since the angle is 90 degrees, it is a right angle. Okay? An angle that's 90 degrees is known as a right angle. All right, for number three, what if we're asked to graph 130 degrees um, using our protractor and then classify afterwards? We're going to be following the same procedure as we did for problems number one and two. Start by graphing the beginning point for your um, initial ray. Okay, so just make a horizontal ray. Now we want to um, find where the terminal ray is going to be, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be running out of space, so let me move my line to the right right here. Okay, so we're graphing 130 degrees and then classifying it afterwards. So what we'll do is place the intersection of your 90 degree angle and the 180 degree or zero degree angle Place that point right on the initial point, the beginning point of your the first ray you drew. Now we're going to look for 130 and graph it. Okay, so 130 is right here, so we're going to mark it. All right, so we marked the point right there. We're done with our protractor. Move that to the side, and then we'll just connect um, connect this point right here. Uh, make a ray from that point through the other point we just graphed like that, and then this angle subtended by these two rays is known as our 130 degree angle, okay? So this angle right here is 130 degrees. Now, how would you classify this angle? That's between 90 and 180. What kind of angle is this? Well, this is an obtuse angle, okay? Let's go ahead and write down the classification since the angle um, is between um, 90 degrees and 180 degrees. It is an obtuse angle, okay? There goes the classification. All right, now let's take a look at question number four. Now this one is going to be slightly different. For question four, we are given an angle, okay? So the task is to find the measure, find the measure um, of the angle, of the angle um, to the nearest degree, to the nearest degree degree and classify. Okay, so we're going to find out the angle measure right here, and then we're going to go ahead and classify the angle. Okay, so there goes our nice little um, protractor. We are going to use that to measure the separation, the angle of separation between these two rays, okay? So what you do first is you take the that point of intersection between your 90 degrees and um, 180 and zero, you place that point right on the vertex of the two angles, 
okay? Now, the easiest way to get the measurement is to align zero degrees with one of the um, rays, okay? Preferably the one closer to zero. So I'm gonna rotate um, my protractor and align the zero degrees perfectly with the um, ray to the right, the lower one. Okay, so have it nicely aligned like that. All right, so let's try and make it perfectly aligned. All right, now notice what we're doing as we rotate, we have to constantly ensure that the point of intersection between our 90 degrees and the zero degrees is always on the vertex as we rotate so that we can have an accurate angular measurement. Okay, so what you notice is that um, the uh, terminal ray, the second ray, falls on the middle between 40 and 30, right in the middle. So what angular measure is that? That is 35 degrees, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and set this to the side. This angular measure right here is 35 degrees. So let's go ahead and classify, what, what, what will you classify this angle as? Since um, 35 degrees, the angle is between, is between zero degrees and 90 degrees, just like number one, um, the angle is acute, okay? This angle that we have right here is an acute angle. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at question number five. So for question number five, we're to find uh, the measure of the angle, uh, the measure of the angle, and classify, okay? All right, so. How many degree measure do we have on a straight line? So we're gonna be using our protractor to do this. You might already know what the answer is, but let's just confirm it with our protractor. So what we're gonna do is just um, align the first rate with zero degrees and see where what degree measure the second one falls on, okay? So what I'm going to do is place that midpoint right there on the intersection of our 90 degrees and zero degrees and 180 right there. And you can clearly see what the angular measure is. If you're going um, counterclockwise from zero, the terminal side is on 180. If you're going clockwise from zero, the terminal side is on 180 degrees, okay? So the angular measure in this case is um, 180 degrees, okay? So this is 180 degrees. Now, how would you classify um, 180 degrees? 180 degrees is a straight angle, okay? It is a straight angle. That is what you call 180 degrees. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of geometry, to give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very important and supportive to us. During the course of the presentation, if you have any questions or um, comments, just place it in the comment section below and we'll be more than uh, glad to address whatever questions or concerns that you have. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other tutorials such as this. More content can be found on mathconserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.